Hey everyone, this is Bathmetrics. It's November 24th, and today the new Vital Synth is being launched any hour now. And I'm here with a quick tip about how to do serum style pulse width modulation warping or PWM warping, which looks like this in serum. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do this in Vital because it's not 100% obvious at first, and I've even seen some comments from people who've looked at early preview videos or maybe even done some early preview videos saying, where's the PWM warping type? Because that's such a common warping type that a lot of us use. Uh, you can do this exact type of warping in Vital. I'm gonna show you how to do that. And along the way, I'll also show you a little bit about how the warping modes in Vital work. They're very cool, very powerful. Um, so, First of all, let's review what this sounds like and looks like. Here's an oscilloscope over here. So that's the distinctive look and feel of PWM warping over in Serum, okay? So how do we do this in Vital? Vital's warping modes are incredibly powerful, very different from Serum, and yet have similarities and overlaps. The main thing that'll be new to you at first is that the, there's two different sets of warping modes. There's this table on the right and this knob that goes with that table. I'm sorry, table on the left. And then there's also this table on the right of different warping styles, and they have their own knob. Now, what's going on here is these are spectral warping modes. They don't change the shape of the waveform itself. They only change what's going on with the harmonics of the fundamental waveform. They create harmonics and then they mess with the harmonics, okay? And they warp them all around in, in various ways. So you can pick, for example, uh, a vocode shape and it's going to do something like that. It's not really changing the waveform so much as the harmonics generated by the waveform. Uh, and then we can double click to reset that. Over here, we're doing what's called phase warping. These are the phase warping modes. And these are the more traditional things like bend, right? And these actually do change the shape itself of the fundamental waveform, not the harmonics. Uh, and here is the one that does pulse modulation, but you'll notice this has a different looking behavior from Serum. This one does the pulse width movement from the center of the visual display. And so this is where people get hung up and say, wait a minute, we can't do this. That's what I want to do. I'm, I'm familiar with that sound. I've used Serum for however many years, and I want this sound. I don't want this sound because this does sound different. Let's review this Serum one one more time. Okay, now compare that with this. And let me clear off this vocode so we're only doing the phase warping. So here's how it sounds in Vital. And make sure I'm on the right one. So you can hear how that sounds a lot more phasey, a lot more metallic. And people are like, oh, that's terrible. I don't want that. Well, you can do that. And it all hinges around this little slider that appears below the bottom of the, of the window. If I take all the phase warping modes off and we go to no warping, that slider goes away. And you don't get that slider with the spectral warping modes. No slider, because these are just working on the harmonics. Okay, But when you pick any sort of phase warping mode, you get this slider down here. And what it's doing and it stays there for every one of the phase warping modes. So let's go over here to pulse. And normally it's gonna start whatever sort of warp it does from the center of the waveform. But all you have to do to set it up right is move this starting phase either to zero degrees or to 360 degrees. And then you're gonna get the same exact effect as in Serum. So again, by default, it, it warps out from the 180 degree phase position, and we can double click this to go back to the default. And this may not be the sound you want for pulse width, but if you just crank it all the way over here to the left and do it, it still looks weird because it's 
spreading out from the center. But if you look at the way the waveform is actually rotated around now, it's actually doing exactly the same thing as Serum. So let's prove that. So here we are in Vital. We're going to look at the waveform. And go back to Serum. Let's bring Serum to the front. Let's do it with Serum. So you can get exactly the same behavior for pulse width PWM style warping in Vital with pulse. Just remember, look for the slider, drag it either that way or this way, and you'll get what you want. And then of course you have all these flavors in between, which can be really cool. Helps if I'm on the actual Vital. And of course, you could even drag a modulator to this slider and make it modulate. Okay, so much more flexibility and versatility than Serum. You just have to know about this little guy, which is not very obvious at first. Okay, uh, there was one other thing I wanted to show you that's kind of cool. It's also really easy to edit and make wavetables in um, Vital. It's one of the easiest wavetable editors I've ever worked with. And uh, let me show you uh, a wavetable I made that just by moving the index of the wavetable itself, I'm getting that Serum style PWM movement uh, on a saw wave, right? If we go to the 3D wavetable, it looks like this. Okay, and this, is, this was like all of two minutes to set up, maybe less. So the way you would build something like this is you would work with the line source. There's several different um, sources. We'll do it from scratch. Let's uh, reset. Actually, let's just remove this group. Okay. So you add a line source, and by default, it's a ramp up saw style wave. Let's make our grid as wide as possible. Uh, let's take this to the center point. Let's add another point by double clicking. And let's see, Serum goes up first. So we'll do it the same way. We'll make a Serum style. So we're gonna go up to the top, come over here to the narrowest point. And uh, then we're gonna double click to create another point, drag it all the way down to the bottom. And then finally, we'll take one more point and drag it right here to the center. And then we'll take this last point and drag it down here, right? And so what we've done is we've made a keyframe that has the final shape we want. So uh, <laughs> I should have actually done that second. What I'm gonna do is literally drag this keyframe all the way over to the right-hand side. So now this is what happens at the left. And then I'm gonna double click here on this side to create a new keyframe. And it starts out as a copy of whatever the last keyframe you had selected was, right? So we're just going to fix this by dragging this back over here and bring this point over to the center of the grid and bring this point over here this way. And now we have the starting point. So this is the starting shape. And this one here is the ending shape. And so if we start at the beginning and drag our index through here, you can see how it squeezes up pulse width modulation style, right? And this works kind of like phase plant with the keyframe idea. You can just double click to create new keyframes anywhere in the full range of the wavetable indexes and make whatever kind of shape you want on that keyframe. You can also double click to remove it. You can add modifiers, it's very cool. There's other good videos I've seen already that talk a little bit about the wavetable editor, so I'm not gonna go deep on this. But the point is I've just made a serum style wavetable shape. And if we close the editor and take the slider for the index and slide it up and down, you're gonna see it squeezing in from the right, just like serum. 
when you do a pulse width modulation. So why would you want to do this? Why would you want to actually create a quick and dirty wavetable to do this kind of pulse width modulation? Well, think about it. If I can do it in the wavetable, if I'm just working with the basic shape and one of the sounds I want is that basic squished PWM sound like that, um, now I freed up both of these warping modes to do other types of warping. Warping, like I can do FM on that, or I can do ring modulation on that, or I can use, you know, one of these other uh, phase warping modes, and I can be doing that at the same time that I'm doing interesting spectral modulation, like. Um, the harmonic stretch is a really fantastic sound, right? We can be doing stuff like this. Of course, I got that formatted out too far. Let's take this modulation off. Let's get this over here. Right? So by doing the modulation with the index, We, we give ourselves three different ways we can modulate this basic uh, waveform uh, that starts out looking like, and again, let's just get rid of all these so it looks like it should again. You know, it's just a basic pulse width saw wave. So there you go, how to do it the serum way, the simple way, using an actual warping button, but whatever shape you want over here. Or if you want to make a special wavetable that has like a sign, um, in this first keyframe, and then, or a square wave or whatever you want. You could build whatever kind of custom pulse width shape you want. You just change this portion, uh, you know, drag this out and make it more signy, for example. Do things like that. Could do the same thing on the other side and uh, give yourself some sort of custom shape that you want. Right, with some pulse modulation, and then it would do something like this, and so on. So hopefully this has been helpful, uh, a little quick and dirty primer, a, a little bit about how the wavetable editor works, and for duplicating this one fairly popular warping mode from Serum in Vital. Thanks for hanging out, have fun.